I will wash my hands thoroughly here. Wearing rubber gloves is always a, not a bad idea. And if you're gonna be flicking these springs, maybe wearing a pair of safety glasses may not be a bad idea as well. Hello, Svengers, it's me, Svenny McG. Today we're gonna to look at cleaning up some of those battery ports. Every once in a while, we let things go neglected and unfortunately, battery corrosion can occur. So we're gonna look at what we can do to clean them up, get in there, get them working again, and see an actual positive result at the end. So follow on through, let's take a look. All right, check it out. This is a PlayStation 2 remote control for your DVD player. I recently looked at this and I found batteries that had an expiry date of 2011 in them. So let's see how bad the damage was when I removed them. You can see, you know what, it doesn't look too bad, but you can see, especially this guy here, you could see some of the battery acid right there on it. Let's see if I can zoom it in a bit. Not bad, so you can see. The best way I know is I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna shoot vodka, no. I have white vinegar, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just get this a little bit wet, and I always like to roll it out, roll it out. I don't want all this excess to be uh, coming off in there. I just want it to be, now I'm not sure what the actual chemical thing is going on here uh, between the pH differences here, but plain and simple, uh, we are going to use this to help neutralize some of the battery acid and wash off the rest. So just gentle brushing. I'm gonna brush over all the coils down here because any of that acid I want gone. And I just kind of give it even a little bit of this rolling action here any of the excess i'm going to flip to the other side i'm going to just try and collect it now and dry it up a little bit but i will let it properly sit and air dry after and while we're in here why not why not go get all of them again just lightly going over them rolling it around on some of these bigger coils here get underneath and on top and again, even these guys, they don't have the metallic bumper. Sometimes you see these ones are coils. So again, we're just gonna give it a wipe down like so. So it's a bit better, but you can still see there's some material in there. So I'm gonna wipe it a little bit better. I'll finish winding it down and then I'm gonna let it air dry for a little bit before I go and test it again with any batteries. Always important to make sure that it's dry, dry, dry before you go ahead and try firing it up. We don't wanna have any little shorts or anything in here. Same thing here, this is my original Game Boy. My original Game Boy. I received this Christmas many years ago. And do you remember these guys, the label makers? I swear everybody had one back in the 80s and 90s. Here, I have fresh set of batteries in. When I flick it on on top, we should get that light and we should get the gling, the Nintendo symbol. We don't have that. I can't guarantee this is a battery problem, but let's take a quick peek. All right, so back inside here, check it out right here. That's all battery acid corrosion on there. The coils fortunately don't look like they're too bad. And even as little as this, see this guy here, it's the flat head. But if that corrosion's between the battery and the straight contact, that alone can be enough sometimes to prevent a system from working. Looking at the underside, same thing here. This one, she's getting to be pretty green. This one's pretty green. Again, the coils are pretty stable here, but they can be cleaned up all around before they start to corrode any further. So unfortunately, this is just a very, very old Game Boy that I gotta give some love to, and I don't mind doing that. So again, we're gonna start with the vinegar side, and I'm just gonna go right over all the contacts here, giving it a nice little clean here. These ones need a lot more attention than that PlayStation remote did. I'm gonna go in little circles up and down here. And look at that, it's actually even starting to come like straight clean. And the Q-tip here, you see how it's starting to get a little bit of a greenish hue to it? That means that the process is working, so that's good. Again, look at how clean that's coming now. I still gotta get some of the acid around it. Nice thing about this technique, like I said, is also just the fact that we're using straight household things. Most people have Q-tips, most people are gonna have some form of white vinegar available to them. So this doesn't have to be something high techy or anything. This is something you can do just to clean these out. Even your TV remotes. A couple of dirty Q-tips later, as you can see there. I've scrubbed it down and you can see they came pretty clean. There's still a little bit of corrosion around the outside, a little bit of debris that I can remove. And then again, looking at this other side here, 
you can see again they cleaned up pretty nicely for the best this one that is just permanent corrosion now off of the uh the chrome plating there so it's going to be like that but hopefully that still picks up a contact and we'll see in a little bit if that was the issue regardless these contacts are clean. All right, I've let it dry up for a little while here, and now I've put a fresh set of batteries in. Let's see what happens now. <laughs> well, success in that I've restored the battery power I have. Uh, again, I don't expect to say Nintendo, that's kind of its lockout mechanism showing that there isn't a cartridge in there. So the mission today of getting the battery compartment all cleared up and ready to go was a success. All right, one more time now with Super Mario Land 2 in here. Let's check it out. We see Nintendo, so it is reading the cartridge. The lines here are uh, a different issue altogether, but it's something that I may be able to try and look at, otherwise a straight up screen replacement might be in order, maybe something that's backlit. There's plenty of options today. But for now, pretty sweet that this is working again. So thanks again for watching. It's always great to keep these old things running. Again, especially the Game Boy, 1989. That thing's a beast and it's awesome. So please heat this little PSA today. Check those battery compartments. Make sure everything's functional. And again, this works on everything, your actual regular TV remote, RC cars, anything where you might have corrosion. Always work safely. Happy gaming. We hope to see you again soon. As always, thanks for watching, subscribing. Take care. Be good to each other. Bye now.